I've been planning to do a kind of blooper show for, um, well, a few weeks. And lucky <laughs> as luck would have it, I actually got a bunch of bloopers a couple weeks ago. So um, that's great. But I did not plan to have an entire blooper blog post, um, which I'm somehow ending up with today. And I apologize. I was all set. I was going to make something called a Christmas cake. Now, I know it's early in the season if you're not used to these types of things, but it is a type of fruitcake. Um, I've made fruitcake in the past, haven't really found a recipe that I love. More importantly, haven't found a recipe that my mom loves. She's the one who's really the, the fruitcake connoisseur in the family. So, got in touch with a friend of mine from England, got the recipe for a Christmas cake, um, and decided, okay, I'll get started on it, because if you've worked with fruitcake before, you know that the really good ones have a lot of booze in them, and you actually soak the fruit in booze, and then you also soak the cake and let it sit for at least a month. So this is perfect timing to get one out ready for Christmas. So I got everything together. I got together, oh, I got um, lots of candied fruit, um, candied cherries, um, candied lemon peel, I've got currants, I've got dates, I've got raisins, um, and actually I was gonna put this all together last night and got home from work, looked at the recipe, I know that it has to bake for like three hours, so I was like okay if I get started right around 6 I'll be done by around 9 or 9 30, that's not so bad. Closer look at the recipe, realize that you're supposed to take all of your fruits, cut them up, and then put them into your brandy, because yes, there's brandy. Um, put them into the brandy and let them stand for three to four hours before you do anything with them. So this morning, before work, chopped up all my fruit. Um, woo, that's potent. Um, and got it all mixed together, poured in the brandy. Good to go for tonight. Got home, amassed all my ingredients, got my flour, got my sugar, got my molasses. I'm kind of having to make some guesses on things because I'm working with a British recipe. So it's calling for things that I'm not sure if I've got what I need. Um, got out my pecans, got my eggs, got my, my nice softened butter. Then realized that the one thing I didn't have out on the counter was my almond flour. No problem, should be in the fridge. It's not in the fridge. Should be in the cabinet, because I just bought some. Nothing in the pantry. Nothing in our backup pantry. Can't find it anywhere. I know that I just bought it, but this is the world telling me that I just need to slow down a little this week, and so I'm going to not make this tonight. Um, I will probably make it this weekend, though. Get some photos taken. Um, and get those put up on here, up here on the blog, probably next week. Um, in the meantime, because you're being so patient, I thought I would share with you some of the actual bloopers that I've caught myself doing over the past however long that I've been doing video. Um, it's unfortunately, I'm not a video editor, so you have to click on each one separately, um, because I don't know how to mash them all together. I hope you'll enjoy them anyway. Um, I hope you'll check in next week to see if I actually got this cake put together. Remember, I'm not actually going to cut into it until Christmas. Um, although I might, I might sneak up, I might sneak a bite of it before then, but don't tell anyone. Um, anyway, so that's the scoop from here. Um, I'm going to blame the weather because it's like 17 degrees out right now, which is about 20 to 30 degrees cooler than it's supposed to be. So I'm going to blame the weather and the time change. And... In the meantime, I'll see you in a week. Thanks for your patience.